It is my distinct privilege to now introduce today's opening keynote speaker, Her Excellency the President of the Republic of Kosovo. For more than a decade, Iowa and Kosovo have had a very special relationship across all levels of society. Des Moines, in particular, is the proud home of the Consulate of Kosovo. As sister states, our collaboration has promoted regional security, regional cooperation, and a safe and secure Europe. President Osami, we are honored to welcome you to Iowa and to the Borlaug Dialogue. Well, good morning, Honorable Ambassador Brandstad, Honorable Participants, thank you so much for having me. And congratulations to all of you for putting together such a successful and important event. This is my very first time in Iowa and my first participation at the Burlog Dialogue. And I'm profoundly grateful for the warm welcome and the opportunity to address a distinguished audience. It is only natural for an event centered on agriculture and food systems to take place in a state with an agricultural footprint all over it and which serves as an inspiration to the entire world. For many years now, the World Food Price Foundation has turned into a worldwide reference for addressing the global challenges on food security. It recognizes and honors those who have devoted their lives to improving agriculture and invoking innovation in the fight against poverty. The importance and the mission of this foundation and event cannot be overstated. Working together to pave the way forward for a world where no one goes to bed hungry. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here not only as the president of the Republic of Kosovo, but also to channel the feeling of appreciation of my people for the remarkable sisterhood between Kosovo and Iowa. Our friendship is rooted on shared values and the joint appreciation for the immense potential of agriculture in changing lives of the people for the better. Our sister state partnership is not merely symbolic. This partnership extends beyond the realm of agriculture, focusing also on defense, trade, education, and cultural exchange. And as we share experiences, knowledge, and best practices, we build a bridge of understanding and collaboration which further strengths the ties between us. Kosovo and Iowa may be miles apart, but we are united by our beliefs and appreciation for our land. To the people of Kosovo, agriculture is not just another sector. It is an important part of our heritage, an integral part of our economy, and we plan to make it a strategic part of our future. We have recognized its pivotal role in our development as well as in response to the global food security challenges. And that is why our institutions are prioritizing investment in agriculture through a diversity of tools and programs. Also, through strategic investments, we're contributing to improving production and competitiveness of this sector. With our priorities focusing on modernization, sustainability, and innovation, we are committed to developing agriculture that delivers for everyone. Throughout the last years, Kosovo has worked on two main fronts to support the sector. We have provided regulatory certainty and clear guidelines on the importance of sustainability. We have developed local and national strategies that are aimed at increasing the number of agriculture businesses, cutting off red tape, supporting smaller scale businesses, and providing more resources to support the work of farmers in all of our country. Our institutions have provided financial incentives larger than ever before, which support our farmers with modernization of their assets, diversification, business development, and most importantly, minimization of negative environmental impacts. I'm glad to be joined here by our Minister of Agriculture, who has led Kosovo's efforts towards the positive transformation of the agriculture sector. 
in our journey, we are witnessing the ever-rising trend of biofarming, which is an essential aspect of creating sustainable supply chains and addressing climate change. Embracing and promoting biofarming is no longer just an option. It is an imperative and a smart investment for the sustainable future of agriculture, but most importantly, for the future of humankind. With this in mind, we must take note of rapid advancements in technology, artificial intelligence and biotechnology, which offer a tremendous potential for reducing waste and increasing the efficiency of the entire food supply chains. These advancements are critical to developing climate resilience infrastructure and manufacturing. It is precisely technology that can and should be used to empower consumers to make sustainable food consumption choices. This, in turn, will create the market for more sustainable products and will ultimately lead to more investments. However, this can only make sense when fueled by the necessary knowledge and skills. Hence, investment in education and training of the next generation of farmers is strategically important, providing them with the knowledge and skills to implement sustainable farming practices. Dear friends, in a world beset by multiple security challenges, cooperation is not just a choice. It is essential. As Russia's war against Ukraine has shown, our supply chains are fragile and exposed to many threats, including rising energy costs, resource scarcity, and economic instability. These recent conflicts, however, have unveiled the ones that are most vulnerable to food supply disruptions. It is our joint responsibility to identify the right mechanisms to be able to support the most vulnerable. While the globalization of food supply chains has brought a multitude of benefits, it has also exposed a magnitude of vulnerabilities. Beyond wars and conflicts, a multiple array of threats, including climate change, disruptive extreme weather events and pandemics, have further amplified the challenges related to food production and agriculture in general. It should be noted that all these challenges have one thing in common. They are not merely a local or regional concern. These are global challenges that demand our unified commitment and unified action. In order to mitigate the security risks to our food supply, we need to build global resilience, which considers diversification of food sources, sustainable manufacturing, and adaptive technologies. In the face of these developments, the international community and key stakeholders need to find ways to work together to identify current and potential future risks to our supply chains. International collaboration is critical for sharing knowledge, technology, and mobilizing resources to find solutions. Therefore, it becomes an imperative that we develop the right tools to be able to respond swiftly to these challenges, so we are not caught unprepared. In this post-pandemic world, global food systems, including international trade, have undergone a profound transformation. The COVID-19 pandemic exposed the vulnerabilities of our extensively interconnected world and the interconnected web of our food supply chains. With every passing day, the importance of resilient and adaptable international trade became ever clearer. Being the cornerstone of these global food systems, international trade now stands as a vital channel for ensuring food security and abundant variety in the face of unforeseen challenges. On the other hand, countries around the world have recognized the need to diversify sources of food imports, strengthen and diversify their transportation and distribution networks, and invest in smart technology to make these systems more agile and more responsive. This post-pandemic world also led to the re-evaluation of the global food landscape, with heightened emphasis on food safety, quality, and sustainability. Consumers are now more aware of the origins of their food, and they are way much more educated about the conditions under which this food is produced. 
This has driven an increased demand for transparency as well as accountability in international trade practices. This has pushed for more ethics in the industry. In response to this, food supply chains are adapting to meet these evolving expectations by prioritizing ethical sourcing, environmental responsibility, as well as fair labor practices. So today, we are not only witnessing the reshaping of international trade in the food sector, but also a broader movement towards a more conscious, resilient, sustainable, equitable, and a nourishing global food system. In the grand scheme of things, the small countries, the small countries are confronted with challenges both daunting as well as unique. Given the limited arable land and the increasing challenges posed by climate change, they bear the weight of responsibility of reconciling agricultural productivity with environmental harmony. Yet, equally as challenging as this might initially sound, it can also take the shape of a blessing as they stand a chance to emerge as the pioneers of innovative solutions. We, in the Republic of Kosovo, have the desire and the drive to become one of these champions. Yet, we can't, and we shouldn't do this alone. We are convinced that we do better when we do things together with partners. At the heart of this transformative journey stands the timely embracing of sustainable agricultural practices, precision farming techniques, crop diversification, and the cultivation of organic methods are gradually turning into an absolute necessity as the world seeks to build a more resilient and eco-conscious agriculture. Faced with the realities, it became an imperative to empower our farmers in providing them with the knowledge, the tools, and resources to flourish in an ever-revolving world. In this journey, beyond the important role of policies, technology becomes indispensable. It is precisely through the power of digital technology and communication networks that we can unlock the real-time potential to share vital data and insights, arming our farmers with the wisdom they need to navigate in an ever-complex system of global market trends. It is therefore essential that we come together under the umbrella of events like this one that provide the unique platform for all of us to learn from each other, but most importantly, to find ways to help one another. So dear participants, Mr. Ambassador, food, as we all know, has a remarkable power to unite people. It transcends borders, cultures, and languages reminding us all of our shared humanity and our joint responsibility to ensure a nourishing future for all. In this spirit, I want to mention that the founding father of Kosovo's independence, the late President Rugova, had returned a millennial old tradition of celebrating what we call Darka Elamas, a unique way to express appreciation for the blessings of the land manifested through crops and goods and for the outstanding work of our farmers, as well as a perfect occasion to express appreciation to friends and partners from all around the world for the friendship, the support, and their unwavering partnership. With this in mind, I want to extend a word of appreciation to the organizers for their leadership, to the Iowans for the remarkable partnership, and to everyone here. Our absolute resolve to build bridges and open new and meaningful chapters of cooperation. As we work together to confront the global food security threats facing us, let us celebrate those working hard to ensure our food supplies our farmers, and let us join forces to engage in policy making, industrial practices, and transformative education that takes into account the needs of our planet as much as the needs of the people living in it. Thank you so much.